The Strategic Information Specialist of the United States Agency for International Development, USID, urged medical practitioners to embrace existing innovations and formulate new ones to improve their health care systems. The officer was speaking on behalf of the East, Central and Southern Africa Health Communities partners in Arusha. Particularly taking advantage of mobile health has been a key area for us. And the utilization of antenatal and reproductive health services, uh, a project that EXA has had over the last year, using mobile phones, has been an important one. Wairam says the results from these are promising in improving health. We acknowledge that science, technology and innovation is an opportunity to spur progress, new partnerships, to improve effectiveness. Dr. Stephen Kinoti, a researcher on sexual and reproductive health for the EXA Health community, in his keynote speech in the 24th Director General's Forum, said the untapped potential in cell phones is huge. Not just phones, tablets and other devices that utilize the same technology. The important thing here is not mobile phone. The important thing is what that mobile phone can do, what the tablet can do, what that other handheld device can do. Uh, it is the software that they put into it, it is the, the programming, it is the customization that is based on national guidelines for disease prevention and management that is utilized. Dr. Kinoti, who has been a physician for 40 years now, has a company which has made breakthroughs with such innovations. We produce devices that can help diagnose HIV, malaria, dengue fever, and now Ebola and other diseases. Uh, even non-communicable diseases, as long as you can have a rapid diagnostic test, it can help you do that. And the power of diagnose is not left to the health workers alone. Bringing that power to a person like you or any other person who is not medically trained, working in a community, doing that diagnosis right, and therefore giving the right treatment is, tr is tremendous development. And that can be facilitated by mobile technology. Not only that, that information that is gathered, because you are working with a device that is Android based that you touch a screen and use uh, drop down menus like you have in a cell phone, uh, those menus, every time you touch it, you are gathering that information. And there is no send menu. Immediately, through wireless networks, gets uploaded to your database, wherever you want it. No paper, no pe pencils, no pens. The devices themselves also have got guide, clinical guidelines. And the device is smart enough. If you make a mistake, it tells you that's a mistake. Such is one of the best practices to health that the East, Central and Southern Africa health community, XHC, is adopting and partners are willing to provide the funds. And one of them is the Global Innovations Fund that the US government has also contributed to. And the fund which seeks to invest in social innovations uh, can support initiatives to leapfrog over some of the issues that we've had, uh, challenges that we've had. Wairim says this is to scale up the innovative work already in place, which will play a big role in the post-2015 agenda. The EXA Health community will help in influencing the new goals and engage the whole African continent in contributing to them. Florence Alimba, NTV, Arusha, Tanzania.